Hello and good day to you, it's Talking Ready and today's story, yes I know it's in the media and the media tend to exaggerate and and twist the facts around to suit themselves but this story uh, is in the Metro and it's basically a Telegraph journalist says virus coal of elderly could benefit the economy. So the Metro story out on the 11th of uh, March. Telegraph journalist says virus coal of elderly could benefit the economy. Crazy, I know. A Telegraph journalist has suggested that virus could prove mildly beneficial to the UK economy by killing off elderly Britons. <laughs> it's unbelievable. In his column last week, Jeremy Warner analyzes the US making an emergency interest rate cut to protect the economy against the virus. It went largely unnoticed when the Telegraph, whose average reader age is 61, published it on March the 3rd, but one of the assistant editors, Economic Reflections, has since marked an outcry on social media. Warner compared coronavirus with Spanish flu and how the uh, 1918 pandemic disproportionately affected young people, unlike the strain, which primarily kills the elderly. I see we've gone from only the vulnerable will die to it's good that the vulnerable will die. This is from the uh, res- response to the article. A reason that Spanish flu had a lasting impact on supply because it killed off primary breadwinners, which he said is unlikely to happen with virus then he said not to put a too fine a point on it from an entirely disinterested economic perspective the covid19 might even prove mildly beneficial in the long term by disproportionately culling elderly dependents <laughs> a screen grab of warner's comments received a strong backlash online One shocked reader wrote, This breaks my heart. My 85-year-old mum reads this paper every day and has spent her last 11 and a half months learning how to live well without my dad and her husband of 62 years. Then she reads this. Just imagine, we are so uncaring of our elderly. Responding to the criticism in the article's comment section, Warner said, on reflection, he should not have used the word cob. <laughs> but he said he is unrepentant about the economic point I was trying to make. He wrote, any thinning out of those primary working age is a much bigger supply shock than the same thing amongst elderly retirees. Obviously, for those affected, it's human tragedy whatever the age but this is a piece about economics not the sum of human misery so there we go <laughs> uh, i think uh, a little bit of a reaction there i'm sure so please don't forget comment down below <laughs> and um, have a good day bye bye